Hey guys, Steve here. Um, so I wanted to show you something a little bit different today. Um, a lot of a lot of times I get asked I get asked the the, the, the question, you know, how do I get um, Angular JS and Spring Boot to get to play well together? Um, and here I'm going to show you um, a way that I personally do it myself. Um, so let's so let's run through this quick uh, example application I have here, and we look at what what it's doing. So, at its core, it's basically just a, a Spring Boot application that that is using the Spring Boot Web uh, framework. So if we actually go and look at the application class, it's very simple. It's just a Spring Boot application. It has a uh, the starter method here with the Spring Boot application dot run to actually initialize our Spring Boot app, and then we just have one controller, which uh, just responds with a, a little bit of JSON uh, with a message, and the message is "Hello World." Um, just just to keep this very very simple. Um, so so usually if you're if you want to serve up then you know HTML web pages from your Spring Boot app application at the same time as doing some REST stuff in the back end, um, you you usually you know can put your static HTML files into this uh, resources static folder. Um, but what we want to do is we want to um, build an Angular JS app application and then put that in, into this static folder so that we can actually serve up that Angular app from within our own Spring Boot app application. And that Angular app then is going to be able to talk to this uh, REST endpoint that returns this message and we'll be able to display that on the screen. So getting to this point here with just a simple Spring Boot app with um, a REST endpoint returning hello world. Um, I've done this before in my basics of Spring uh, Basics of the Spring Framework tutorial series. I'll link it in the description below so you can go have a look at that. Um, but for now then, I want, I want to show you how I actually um, get an Angular app um, embedded within my Spring app and how does how does Spring then ser serve that up. You know, how do we build the uh, application and get the Angular app built and the Spring Boot app built and the both packaged together. Um, so what I usually do is within my Ang or Spring app, I will create another directory under say source main. I have a UI directory here. Inside this UI directory is my Angular application. Now, um, this is just a, sim a simple Angular app. Um, I generated it using the Angular CLI. Um, Framework. Um, I'll link that in the in the description below, so you can go have a look at that as well. Um, but basically, all this does is if we go in and look at the actual code for it. So, um, this component file and this HTML file. So the component file basically, um, when the when the app starts, this code is good. This code is go, 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 going to run, and this ng on init method is going to execute. And all that's doing is it's making a HTTP call to the forward slash hello endpoint, which is this endpoint here. And it's going to get the, get the data back from that, and it's going to store the message that we have in this JSON object, which is hello world, um, into this variable here, which is declared within this component. Okay, and then this component is then linked to this HTML file, so here, and then we can we can basically print out the message on on the screen within within the browser on the HTML file. Then here, um, I'll do some tutorials on Angular JS uh, in in the future, so we can kind of go through this in more detail. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on, you know, how do we now build the Angular app. Build the Spring app and marry the two of them together. Okay, so we do that using um, so in our Maven palm file. Obviously, this this is where we declare dependencies. We can see our 
you know, we Spring Boot Web, um, we've got the Spring Boot dependencies. Then down here in the build section is where kind of all, all the magic happens. So we have this Maven exec plugin, which is basically going to, at the val validation stage in the Maven build, which is kind of the earliest stage at which we can do anything, um, it's going to build the Angular app application. So we can see here it's calling, this is just the, the Maven exec plugin, so it just executes something on the, on, on the machine. And here we're going to execute the ng executable, which is the Angular CLI uh, ex executable. And we're going to pass it the, it's going to go into the working directory source main UI, so into where our Angular app is. And then it's going to run the build argument. So that's going to um, execute ng build inside of this directory here, the UI directory. So it's going to build our Angular app application. Um, then if we look at our Angular CLI.json file, we have this output directory here. This is where our static HTML and JavaScript files that are produced from an ng build get stored. So usually this, this, has, this says dist, so it's just a, a distribution directory that's inside that would appear within this uh, EY directory. But I want to reroute that to my resources static folder. So we go back up one directory to resources and static. So when ng build runs, it's going to take the resulting app application from that build and it's going to store it in the static directory here. Now for, for people who know Spring, again, if you have some static content within that static directory, Spring is going to serve that up um, to, to any app application that calls this app. Um, so that's pretty much how, how we do it. You know, we, we, when, when I run a Maven package now, um, uh, obviously it goes through all the different phases, right? Uh, Maven phases. The first one it goes through is the validate phase. So um, if we actually look at the uh, Maven projects here and look, look, look at the life cycle here under the application. These phases are kind of in order here. So we want to um, we want to build our Angular application um, before we compile our Spring application. So we get this Maven exec plugin to execute at the validate phase, which is here. So it's before the compile phase. So in the validate phase, we're going to build the Angular app and we're going to store the resulting app within the static folder. Then when compile runs, it's going to take all these class files here and everything in resources and static and package that up into a runnable jar file for us, which we can then run afterwards. So let's have a look at that working here now. So if I do a maven package, you can see it's, it's executing the maven exec plugin here now. And we should see some information saying that it is, so that built, built successfully. So if we go back up and look, we can see maven exec plugin. And we can see this is, this is the output from the ng build command. Um, so we can see all the you know, JavaScript bundle files created for our Angular app application here. Um, then if we go back up here and look in our static folder now, we can see the, the final uh, distribution for our Angular app application here in our static folder. So that means that, that worked. Then if we go down to our target directory and have a look at our actual you know what the application looked like after the compile phase run we can see here we have in the classes directory we have our you know our application class our hello world controller class and we have our static directory with our angular application within it and then that that all gets packaged up and stored in this in this jar file that I can run from anywhere so let's have a look at that running so 
in my terminal here, um, I'm in the Spring Angular app folder. So if I just do a Java minus jar target and my jar file, that's going to start up the app application and it's going to serve it up on port 80 or 8080, I should say. Now if I go to my browser and I go to localhost 8080 and run that, I can see my Angular application running here. And this, this, this message here is the message that I, it's the Angular ap application calling the RESTful endpoint within our Spring application and getting that message and displaying it here. Just to we'll have a look at the Chrome developer tools. I have a simple little, um, go back and look at the code. I put a console.log here just to you know print out the data that we received back from the HTTP call to the hello endpoint. And we can see here that it has a, pr a property called message and it has the message within here. And then we're printing that, that message out here. So that's it for this kind of simple dem demonstration of getting you know, AngularJS and uh, Spring Boot to play nicely together and a way you can actually package the two together and just have one simple deployable to send up anywhere you want to. So you can, you know, easily deploy this to Docker, Kubernetes, you know, anywhere that, that uh, supports running a Java program, basically. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I'll put this source code up on my GitHub and link it down in the description so you can have a look at it yourself. Um, once again, if you like this type of content, you li like my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.